I took some time to answer this uh, because I needed to look some facts up before I answered to make sure I got them right. Now, type them out on the screen now. So, now here's the thing: Am I? I think it's really bad optics that they've announced that because, broadly speaking. I've explained this before, but I'll explain it again. When the fuel allowance was done, it was considered cheaper to pay everybody than it was to means test it. Between then and now, pension credits have existed and pensioners are already means tested. So there is a system that's already been paid for. And broadly speaking, I think for that kind of thing, means testing is a good idea. Do I think that the pension credit ceiling is too low? Yes, I absolutely do. But I think it, for a start, I think it would be easier to raise that ceiling than it would be to do the structural all the way down. I think it was bad optics that they announced it when they did. They have announced their plans to tax the ultra rich and hopefully those will be steaming ahead. We need to see the rubbish. But here are some actual things. So, right. About one and a half million people will continue to get that no matter what. They will just continue to get it and they will be in the main, the very poorest pensioners that we've got. Largely, they're people whose pension ended and they get the lower amount. Um, now, here's the interesting thing. Nearly a million, it's about 880,000 households that could get the pension credit, and if they got that, would get the winter fuel payment, are not claiming it. Um, so there's going to be a campaign to try and get hold of those people and make sure that they do claim what they're entitled to because then they can get the winter fuel payment. So that will bring it up to, what, 2.3 million? So I'm not saying... Bear in mind that that fuel payment is, is earned by everybody, and a lot of people have got a lot of money, and they really don't need it. Now, there is a shortfall. We know that. Everybody's saying that the government knew about it. They knew there was a shortfall. They made that very plain before they came in, that they knew there was a shortfall and that they were going to have to address it. But it was only when they gained sight of the actual books they realised exactly how big it was. Um, do I like the sound of us? No, I bloody don't. I really, really don't. But I'm not an economist. I really don't like the sound of it. And I also don't like the sound of the fact that it has been the, the optics on this. I think that they could do better. Um, they are going to get further support. There's a cold weather payment, a warm home discount and a household support fund that are already there. They're also hoping that the energy bills will go down uh, because of the energy cap reduction. So hopefully all those measures will take the sting off of those that are really struggling. And please bear in mind that pensions have increased by about 900 quid a year, which is more than they're losing. So, you know, is it ideal? No, it really, really isn't. Uh, sorry, I'm just I made a load of notes. I made a load of notes. I just want to check I haven't because my notes are all written half. Is it ideal? No, it's not. It really isn't. But when we talk about making sure that the wealthiest among us pay our fair dues, that should also mean pensioners, don't you think? So it's a bit unfair to give some pensioners who are, it has to be said, doing very well indeed, thank you, benefits that we could better put to, I don't know, people who are in receipt of child benefit. I would rather that pensioners were mean tested and they reinstated, uh, they stopped the two-child two cap on child benefit, which is also now means tested, because... We are focusing on pensioners having their winter fuel benefit taken away. But in fact, prior to this government, a lot of other vulnerable groups had a lot of financial support removed from them as well. Like I said, is it ideal? No, it's not. But it's not as all-encompassingly devastating as some people are pointing it out. <laughs>